Welcome to Worship with Clinton Presbyterian Church. Thank you everyone for joining us either in person or online this morning. This is a very special Sunday when we will celebrate our Sunday school students and graduates. We are glad you have joined us for our worship this morning. As we listen to the prelude, please take a deep breath, settle into your space, and look around at the beautiful faces of those who are gathered this morning. Let us pray. God of creation, let your light shine on all the inhabitants of this earth. Grant us the gift of inward joy that comes from being in relationship with you and your creation. Open your eyes that we may see the work of your hands, inspiring us to celebrate the sacred ties of community, friendship, and love. May we seek always to be united as one family, standing together in the belief that love and compassion have greater power than hatred and division. In your holy name, we pray, amen. Please join me in taking a moment in taking a moment to greet one another to greet one another with peace with peace can I do the canned one make some room for sister excellent don't forget don't forget to come up to come up and greet the folks on zoom and greet the folks on zoom hi Casey Lee we got one person on zoom cool um, now you both together, you want to say, the peace of Christ be with you all. The peace of Christ. One, the, two, three. The peace of Christ will be with you all. And also with you. Good job. Good job. Now we're going to go shake everybody's hand and um, hug them and stuff. The intro has three parts. One part is for me, the worship leader. One will be for anyone who is in the sanctuary in person this morning in italics. And one will be for those joining us remotely in bold. Those joining us on Zoom, please unmute your mic so we can hear you. Beloved, let us love one another because love is from God. Everyone who loves is born of God and knows God. God's love was revealed to us in this way. Beloved, since God loves us so much, Let us also love one God is love, and those who abide in love abide in God. We love God. God love, love, love. Jesus Christ is the love of God, made flesh the love that even death cannot destroy. There is no fear in love, no, for fear has to do with punishment, but perfect love casts out our fear. Cast out our fear. 
Therefore, trusting in God's grace and without fear, let us confess our mistakes and ask for God's help. Let us pray. Loving God, you will see his heart. Let us have a prayer for one another and himself. We are here, son, who serves and invites us to love. We turn away from you. We turn away from all others who confess and love. Do not ask our affairs. We turn away from ourselves. Even though we made of the image, we can suffer God, we can serve and trust, we can serve and trust, we can love the community. God is loved. Those who abide. Those who abide in love. In love. Abide in God. Abide in God. And God abides in them. And God abides in them. We love. We love. Because God. Because God. First loved us. First loved us. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we are forgiven. We are forgiven. Thanks be to God. Amen. That was amazing. All right, so I was asked to pick a song about community that is fun for kids. So here we are. Um, some of you may remember this from your Sunday school days, and some of you, you're going to have your Sunday school days right now. So there are motions. Obviously, I can't do the motions while I play. So I'm going to teach them to you. They're really hard, okay? I am the church. You are the church. We are the church together. I think we're good so far. All who follow Jesus, we're going to look up to Jesus. All around the world. Yes, we're the church together. And give yourself a big hug. I think you guys got it, right? Yeah. Yeah. If I learned it in one second, you can too. All right, we're going to sing it, and we have plenty of practice for it, so don't worry. Yeah, I thought it was in the thing, but that's it. Yeah. Yeah. Is it coming back to you? Good job. You are the church. We are the church together. Now look up. All who follow Jesus all around the world. Yes, we're the church together. Perfect. The scripture reading is from Psalm 133. Look how good and pleasing it is when people live together as one. It is like expensive oil poured over the head, running down onto the beard, Aaron's beard, which extended over the collar of his robes. It is like the dew on Mount Hermon, streaming down onto the mountains of Zion, because it is, because it is there that the Lord has commanded the blessing, everlasting life. There we go. As your family, Lord, leads us here, as your family, Lord, leads us here, as your family, Lord, leads us here, oh Lord, leads us here. Good morning. 
So on this children and youth and Sunday school celebration Sunday, we thought we would take a look back at our program year and ask you, uh, Will, that's my drum roll, what did you learn at church this year? Uh, while you're thinking about your answer to that question, I have some ideas. Um, would you go to the next slide, please? We learned that everyone loves cake, right? We spent, yeah, thank you. Uh, we spent our fall learning about times when Jesus ate meals with people. There are uh, kind of a lot of those stories in the Bible. Sometimes he was accused of eating with the wrong people. Sometimes somebody else made a scene. Remember the time that woman cried in front of everybody and made them so uncomfortable and then cleaned his feet with her hair? It, it always seems that people were changed when they ate meals with Jesus. All right, what else did we learn? We learned that there is always enough, even if it seems like there's nothing. We celebrated communion a lot more than usual this year as part of our series on meals this fall, and we learned some things by experiencing them. This day, do you remember this day? The communion table was set up, but it was empty. There weren't any cups or little crackers on it at all. And we heard the story of the time that Jesus fed 5,000 men and their families with just a few loaves of bread and some fish. And we watched a similar miracle happen as snacks appeared out of the purses and backpacks gathered here to create an abundant feast. We also heard about the same kind of miracle that was happening in our community with a speaker from Wheat sharing with us about how people's donations were multiplied to feed the people in our community who needed food. What else did we learn? Oh, joy is just waiting to be found. Uh, do you remember the chocolate fountain? Our deacons are working hard on getting it up and running right now for after church today. Get excited. I see some adults who are very cool, good. Um, we had many opportunities to think about joy this year. Do you remember? We had this Children's Sunday with the introduction of the chocolate fountain and the kids told us about their favorite foods. Do you remember that? Yeah, Chipotle, okay, all right. All right, the moms are still mad, okay. Um, we had an Advent series titled, How Does a Weary World Rejoice? Um, we had a Lent and Easter series about planting seeds of joy, and now our spring series on joy and community. It has been a joy-focused year. And we also learned that we don't have to fear life's twists, turns, and tumbles. Do you remember this moment? There's a bill. tumbling pass? That was really cool. Um, of course, we learned that joy doesn't mean the absence of tumbles. Get it? Do you like that? Um, or of fear or pain or difficulty in any way. In fact, those are the times when we need to look for and practice joy even more. Those are the times when we can plant seeds for future joy. This year, we also learned... What else? Hmm, I just want to keep watching. <gasps> Oh, love really does win. I don't have anything else more to say about that. Yeah. Um, we also learned there is always space for new friends. We welcome six new members this year, and we have had many new friends joining us throughout the year. There is always room for more, and that's one of the best parts, I think, about this community. Um, then we learned also this year something very important about God's sparkling light. Uh, remember Sparkle Sunday? This sparkling light cannot be dimmed. Uh, we rebranded Transfiguration Sunday as Sparkle Sunday, and wow, did we ever let our light shine as we remembered that the light of God shines within us all. We reminded one another to look for the places where God's love sparkles, noticing where love and joy can be found in the midst of so much that could leave us feeling hopeless or despairing. We sparkled. The sparkle it will not leave us. Well, I mean, that's, that's good, right? I don't know. And of course, as always, we learned 
baby joy has got to be the best joy, right? Amidst all this talk about finding joy all year long, we've had the wonderful opportunity to remember that there is no joy like baby joy. We are grateful to Tiana Love for reminding us about that. But even more, we celebrate the energy and intelligence and imagination, the kindness and compassion and faith of all of our children and youth. Our whole church is more vibrant, engaged, and exciting because of you. So those are my ideas. What else did we learn in church this year? Anybody learn anything? Oh, what she said, uh-huh, yeah. Okay, great. I think... Wait, I think I got it. Am I on? All right, we did it. Thank you. Whoever cheered, thank you. Uh, all right, listen, we have a lot of special people to thank and, uh, and to celebrate. Yes. Today. So, um, very first and most important, because they're first, are Sunday school teachers. Oh, my goodness, right? Um, would Lisa and Jocelyn please come up? Melanie and um, Ari couldn't be here today. Uh, Olivia's graduating like right now, um, and Ari had a family gathering today. And Dave, who faithfully herds the grown ups in Sunday school. We um, are incredibly grateful to all of you, and so we've given you um, a $5 gift card to Dunks, which is. Uh, Almost nothing, but also some heartfelt gratitude. Um, the kids colored and wrote some things that they are grateful um, for about you guys. And Dave, even your group did one for you. Grown ups colored for you. Um, we thank God for all of our Sunday school teachers, the ways that they nurture our young people. Um, God of mercy, hear our prayer. Round of applause. Thank you so much. Um, we do you want to stay up? Yes. Um, let's see. So we love our students who are so uh, eager to just jump in at any time. Do you want to say anything about Sunday school this year? Uh, I don't know. You don't have to. It's just a. Yes, yeah, Sunday school continues to evolve and change based on what our kids want. Um, I love that they are vocal about their wants and desires and what they want to get out of their Sunday school experience. Um, so we work really hard to um, make it the experience that fits and meets their, their needs, which is different than uh, the way that it used to be. Um, and I think that's really beautiful. Thank you. So we want to honor some of our Sunday school students from this year. Because you are growing in faith, we also want to give you a plant. So when I call your name, please come up for your very cool Sunday school certificate. And feel free to pick the uh, flower that speaks to you. So first I have um, Kiana. Come on up, girlfriend. Take it, you do some waving as you come up if you want. No, OK. All right. Um, congratulations, great job. Pick out whatever flower you would like. Oh, beautiful, great. Also this year, big ups to Lily. Woo! Nobody wants to wave, okay, sorry. Congratulations, good job. Thank you for being part of this. Pick your flower. It's okay, she doesn't have to do gymnastics all the time. Um, we also, yeah, want, we would like to give a, an honorable mention to Lorraine and Miriam who have been able to join us on occasion this year. Thank you for being here. And what's a flower that you guys would like? Yes, you're gonna look at each one and see which the best one is. I like that, discerning. Yay. Um, we also continue to have some 
really cool young people, some teenagers in our church who have been involved in a variety of ways, leading worship, serving on session, helping with Sunday school, all that stuff. Um, so Stacy and Ivy, will you come up first, please? Stacy and Ivy, will you Let's continue to pray together. God, we come to you knowing that you can meet all of our desires. We ask that you give us what is good for us, maybe not always what we desire. We ask that you redeem us even as we offer our fervent prayers. We pray for the earth, this beautiful interconnected life web Help us to see our interdependence. Help us to practice making space for each other so that all things can thrive. We pray for our church, that we might be the church for all people. Help us to be a community where the afflicted can be comforted, where the despairing can become hope for others, where our crosses become sources of salvation. We pray for our neighbors. Though living next to each other, we live as strangers, afraid of the struggles in our homes and our hearts. Help us to care and to receive care and to not fall into apathy. We pray for our government. Protect us from polarization and demonization. Keep us from hateful and dishonest words. Help us to be truthful and loving, faithful in our conviction and entrusting judgment to you. All this we pray with the words that Jesus taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Now, the real reason that you came today was you heard Lisa was going to give a money minute, right? <laughs> Woo! Um, as she's walking, I need three more volunteers to read something. If you feel like that could be you, would you come up? Sorry, William. I, children, I meant. Aww. <laughs> but if you want to, we'll put you on the rotation. I was trying to look at Daniel. Do you want to do another part? Oh, I think Ivy's. Oh, Ivy's. Okay. It's okay. All right. So, such a good sharer, that kid, wow. <laughs> All right, so um, just a couple of things to, to share that are noteworthy. Um, we are currently down to uh, $1,612 on our oil bill. So that is really exciting and certainly praiseworthy. Um, but can please continue to give regularly so that we can help to, to bring that down to zero. Uh, and the next slide. 
Um, but in general, our finances are, are not good. The session told me that I stand up here and I'm a little too positive. Uh, <laughs> so I'm trying to, to not sugarcoat this too much. Um, just like your households, our um, expenses continue to go up. Um, and you know, there's payroll and electricity and phone and internet and of course um, oil. Um, so we are outpacing our incoming funds. Um, and so I just, I need to, to bring that to everyone's attention um, so that we know where we are um, and to try to figure out solutions on how to um, bring in enough funds so that we can, can pay all of our bills. So that's my money minute. <laughs> I'll turn it back over to the kids. Tough act to follow. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Christ, Christ invites us to bring up, to bring our gifts, sharing what we have with any in need, proclaiming the good news of love in all we say and do. As we pass plates to collect the offering here in the sanctuary, you are also invited to give online if that is easier for you. Check your pews for a card with a QR code that will direct you to online giving. With generous hearts, let's bring our offerings to God. God from whom all blessings flow, praise God all creatures high and low. Generous God, we give you thanks for every good gift. Help us share get our gifts with others to serve your mission in the world and tell the good news of reassuration and new life. Amen. Amen. Um, you may be seated for a few announcements. Next week, summer officially is here because summer worship begins, which means we'll be meeting here at 10 o'clock. If you show up at 11, you are late. I don't know if you'll get coffee because Jane will be in Maine. Somebody else has to make coffee. Okay, Bobby Ann has been trained. I know Phil and Will are a little dream team happening, so. Phil's sick today? Oh, and he's going to Hampton. Okay, all right. Will, you've been trained to make coffee, yes? Okay. You might, you might review before you leave today. Um, but either way, we'll be meeting next week, 10 a.m. It's also Father's Day. Aw, 
cute. Oh, yeah. it's, that means it is, I wrote that down for a reason, it is the last day of our diaper drive. Um, I love the like hill of diapers that has overflown the box back there. That's very cool. Do you feel like we could like double that stack next week? What do you think? Maybe. Not confident. Okay. <laughs> um, any other diapers you want to bring to donate? La next week is the, is the last week. On the 23rd, we're going to celebrate a Pride Sunday. We're gonna be welcoming a special speaker who works with people who are international asylum seekers because of their um, gender identity or sexual orientation. Um, and we'll be able to have a little Q&A after. But the important detail for our crowd, I feel, is if you have a head-to-toe rainbow outfit, that would be the day to wear it. Okay, rainbow outfits, June 23rd. Um, Lay preachers are going to meet after church um, who want to collaborate on some summer ideas. Um, just to touch base, if you can. There's chocolate fountain. Oh, and Tanya made this gorgeous cake for our graduates. Please remain standing if it's comfortable for you and join me as you have in other parts of the service in one of these three parts of this prayer. One is for me, the worship leader. One will be for anyone who is in the sanctuary in person this morning Let's in italics. The, this side of the room will be the in person, okay? Okay? Yeah, I don't know one, and Sorry. one will be for those joining us remotely That will be bold. this side of the room, okay? You're the room outside. There's fewer of you, so you got to read really loud. Okay. I got a mic. All right. How good is it for people to live in unity? And how difficult. God, give God us gives grace. us grace. What a gift it is to share all things. But we still want our own stuff. God make, God us, make us generous. Us generous. How blessed we feel when we belong. It is so good to know we are not alone. God, help God us helps us to include more than exclude. Like it or not, we are God's beloved, to com beloved community. God empowers, and empowers us to do your work. Friends, thank you so much for joining us today. I hope you go from this place um, excited, bolstered by thinking about all we have learned here this year and all that lies ahead of us to continue to learn together. I hope that you go with the joy of a chocolate fountain in your heart and that you go in peace to love and serve God. Amen? Amen. Amen.